All right, guys, so you won't see my face. Well, you'll probably just see my hands and stuff, but I'm getting ready to clean out, um, not clean out, but refill all of my spices and stuff because they need to be refilled. I'm tired of going up here and grabbing them when they are down there, easier and more convenient. So I hope you just enjoy the video and I'm probably do a little bit of tidying in between, but this is just a get my home and kitchen together situation. All right, so enjoy. All right, guys, you want to start off by getting everything out of the cabinet. So I'm taking all the spices out. As you can see, some of them are empty. Some of them are half full, a quarter full, and some of them just need help, okay? <laughs> because they need to be clean. The tops need to be clean. I am taking out these risers that I got from Aldi's. I love those risers. And once I get everything out, I'm going to wipe it down with a little bit of Dawn dish detergent, nothing major. And then up here, I have my bigger spices. These are the containers that I get from Sam's. I used to have multiple places that I got spices from in South Carolina but I haven't found as many here now these containers here I love because it's a three level riser and they're $3.99 at Aldi so look around for those at your local Aldi's because Aldi's comes through with some nice items so then what I do is I take a funnel and I got these funnels from Dollar Tree and I just refill with the funnels because I am klutzy sometimes and I will waste stuff and I am not trying to waste my spices so yeah I definitely like using a the funnel. These funnels, actually, I got on clearance. They were in a cart. You know how Dollar Tree has those little uh, clearance baskets and stuff? And they were like 50 cents. So I got three funnels for 50 cents. But they're normally a dollar. And that's my Ceylon cinnamon. I do not use regular cinnamon. So check into Ceylon cinnamon if you like cinnamon like I do. It makes your oatmeal, your pies, cakes. It's just a different type of cinnamon. It's more expensive. I get it from Amazon, but it is so good. So after I'm done refilling all of the containers, then I take and wipe them down with the same rag. Just a little bit of Dawn dish liquid, nothing major. And I might have a tad bit of bleach in there. Then I organize the larger ones back up top like they belong I mean where they belong and then I go back to my cabinet and start to put in all of the ones on the bottom level and then next after I put all of these back I'm gonna go to the next level now this is the time where you guys can actually get rid of things that are expired and you will see in this video that I found a couple items that I had two of sometimes when we go traveling we'll have little containers of seasonings like if we have a hotel room that has a whole kitchen and I cook like we did when we went to Missouri um, well, St. Louis and Missouri. I definitely don't like to keep those in the cabinets because they waste space. So I try to take anything that can be combined with another item and I try to put them into one container, get rid of a container. So now I'm saving space. So you'll see in this, I think I had a garlic, I had a sage. It was a couple items that I was able to get rid of and get space now these lazy susans i love they're not heavy they're very lightweight and i got three in a pack at amazon i want to say and they were less than like 10 bucks so i really love them and they're really low profile and i like to put all of the seasons that i use a lot of or maybe that i you know grab and go throughout the week I want to put those on there now there's space in the middle of the lazy susan now that's where i might hide other items that um i don't use as often so usually i try to keep a lot of like my nutmegs and all spices and baking powders and stuff on the right see sage i'm putting the big container into the little because it really wasn't much in there and a lot of times when we're using these we don't pay attention to them so it could be just a little bit in there and it could be saving space if you just combine it with another those two jars are alfredo jars from Aldi's and yeah I utilize those as well as you guys know I'm trying to transition this video is really old um, I'm trying to transition from plastics putting my actual food in plastic containers versus um, glass and stainless steel and so what I've been using is my candle jars and different jars like that to put things inside of that um are literally touching the container like my spices and foods and stuff like that so that's all i'm doing now i'm going to take down my container which is my baking container so i put like my grab and go stuff like my morsels my cocoa powder food coloring mini cupcake um little uh papers and the big cupcake papers my silicone cupcake um thingies just all that good stuff goes in there now i have another container these are from target and that has like my um spatulas and stuff and my cutters and stuff for cookies 
for when I do more in-depth baking and cooking around the holidays but that's in another cabinet so I'm just putting everything back neatly making sure I'm wiping it down because during my baking time I'm not wiping that stuff down I'm just putting it back and it may have sugar on it, a little bit of stickiness or whatever so this is a time where I can clean all those things out all right guys that is the refilling of all of my spices so hope you guys enjoy make sure you thumbs up the video make sure if you are new to the channel that you subscribe and make sure that you share my channel later gators i will see you guys in the next video